Well, why are you going to Cincinnati then? Baby, when I thought I'd spend my life picking cotton, freedom gave me the opportunity to stuff pigeons in crates. <laughs> I'm too old to learn a new livelihood. But you're, you're just starting out. But you can learn new ways in a big city, like Chicago maybe. Be the man that put the process on the I want you to write me letters about your accomplishments. <laughs> I want to hug my mom. The letters can't hug. Well, I, there'll be no hugging no more. I, tell me you're a success. That's all the hugging I want. No, mama. No, I, I want you to have this. <laughs> you tar baby? But granny gave me that. Still sticky after all these years. Take it. Ain't that sticky no more. Hold it tight. Now you go, boy. No. The only ways to do this is to run. Well, if I run, they're going to catch me and haul my black ass back. <laughs> We's emancipated, boy. They don't do that no more. Now, listen to your mama and run. Do I got it? You got it. You think it's OK for a grown up man to carry a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> when you the cold up man, you ask me. Now listen to your mama boy run. I don't be the price man. <laughs> Speeding in a work zone. Failure to obey an officer directing traffic. You did yell, watch out. And the reckless lending practices and securitization of mortgages that sparked the global financial crisis of 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Alan Greenspan is your man. <clears throat> Give the citation to Greenspan. Look, I'm sorry about the collision, miss, but I'm not Greenspan. I could really use that painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> all these people losing their homes. The construction company bought up all of their mortgages. I'll walk her off the back. If it'll get her out of here. Can't be easy for a sister during these trying times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, sister? Mr. Greenspan. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you. Nice ladies, I have the keys, see? Move closer to the post. Now, you will get your pain medication if you are a very, very good boy. No more kicking a furnace or throwing two by fours at the hot water tank. I almost said to call a plumber. Open your mouth. That's a good boy. You're a lucky man getting free medication. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Enjoy yourself, buddy. Enjoying myself. My whole life has been raising the value of other people's lives. And what do I get? 
chains, pills, prison guard with shovels. <laughs> the black man once again adds value to work. There's no regulation here. The company Bill Squared once tears down suburb communities. The more flexible a corporation, the greater its ability to self-correct in response to unanticipated disturbances and thus to contain the consequences of its cyclical imbalances. A straightforward <laughs> job. But I can't make anything out of the blueprints. <laughs> it looks like a page from the Wall Street Journal. The hilltop is to be shaved down by 20 feet, but, th but that can't be right. You need more light. Who the hell are you? Authorized personnel. Authorized for what? I represent the Cranberry Heights neighborhood. Watch. This is the work site, sir. Go see public relations. I'm authorized. You said that. I stand and protect home from being bulldozed while my fellow citizens battle bankruptcy. When we've achieved our victory... They won't recognize the place. We're removing the hill yes. <laughs> Can you believe? I never tailgated. Beers all around. I... Except her. She's staring down at her house. No, she isn't. We decided that money can't buy happiness. On what basis? They tore up the certificates! It's more money, honey. Money's for suckers. Wealth. Wealth is our savior. We sit on it, and it'll gain interest. Amassing into a limitless bank we can borrow against. It's all done. Electronic transfers. <laughs> but no one must know. Shh. We should put it on ice. Ah. <clears throat> When do you plan to cash it in? Patience. The wealth of the universe is right here. Oh, it sticks <laughs> like gravity. <laughs> How much is it worth? <laughs> Chevalier! <laughs> Assets. Real estate. Our house. Our stars in the firmament. One day. A cataclysmic event happens. A supernova, seemingly destroying everything. Stars matter, scatters and falls as dark matter. This is where I get confused. <laughs> we can't detect the dark matter, but we know that it's there. The sun's the sunshine is so bubble pops, and the droplets splash to the ground, and all that's left is a figment of the perfect sphere. What gave it its shape in the first place? Expectation, optimism, and courage. The sphere was wrapped around these principles in the same way that light surrounds a star. Now when the light goes out, the insides don't vanish. They scatter, looking for a place to coalesce. So, all that value, they said, went poof! Didn't vanish into nothingness. Health prices, stock losses, all the lost value. Floating in the air. Till it finds a place to stick. Of the tar, baby. Now, I've lived with a common man. Seen him struggle. Uh, <laughs> Raymond Industrial down 25 points. Wasn't that? The toothbrush. Biodiversity down 75, arable acres down 150. Rural construction down 19 points. Kilimanjaro crystal down 30. Devonian salvage and renovation up 100 points. What? <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Fluid, unburdening us from oblivion. You have no 
inside your waist. I thought you were being held hostage. You escaped. I, 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 I am a hostage. I was backed into a corner where I had to take my own hostages. The trilobites? Trilobites, big green, inscrutable forces had a mass where I was backed into a corner where I had to block them from sweeping down. It's too much. I don't know how much longer I can hold them back. Dolly. Where's your baby? Melted down to its bones. Then you're alone. Poor Landis. You called me Landis. I need to evaluate what it's easy. Value is a mirage on the horizon obscured by speculation. <laughs> I smell a tar baby. If there is no more tar baby. There are two tar babies. The one your mama gave you and the one you made yourself. Green space. The babies who's prattling everybody's got stuck on. I still smell that one and it stinks. The more flexible a species, the greater its ability to self-correct in response to unanticipated disturbances. When you've been stripped totally I'm, naked. Am I valued by the advice that I give that may or may not pan out? What people think of me. What it says on my task form after my account has shaved off every deduction. How much I've loved. I haven't loved nearly as much as I should. I believe it's how much I've cherished the obtainment. I've done that all my life. I just haven't given myself credit for it. The fracking fluid isn't getting less toxic. Say goodbye, Greenspan! So soft. So sweet. All we have is ourselves, right here, right now, huh? I'm with you, Landis. Look at them down there. The last ones left, hon and hon. Despite their tribulations, they remain together on their double life, on their cultivated development, the formerly upscale suburb. You know, way up here, we have the big picture, but down there, they cling to the one thing that makes them happy. I love them. This it doesn't work that way. It's more of a proportion of predators to prey, and it's more complicated than a proportion. It's a derivative of food supply and demand. Tell me a story of supply and demand, Mama. A story. A story? Yes, a story, please. Once upon a time, there was a sad queen. She was so sad that it felt like she couldn't walk because she had a splinter stuck in her big toe. Why was she so sad? Because... She had too many subjects, and she didn't know how to manage society. You mean pre-Federal Reserve? A pre-stock exchange. The Queen depended upon the natural proclivity of her subjects to control other subjects based on the color of their exoskeletons. There were umber ones and sienna ones, but that created random violence, instability, anarchy. The swelling in her toe created a throbbing pus pocket. Like a bubble? Like a bubble. Uh, the queen proclaimed that she'd give one half of her kingdom the trilobite that removed the splinter. A boy named Alan. My name is Alan. Came up with Greenalism. <laughs> Greenalism with a capital G. Capital. The queen cried tears of joy upon the removal of the obstacle, barring the smooth flow of profits into the treasury. Is it one of them jackals? A chip off the old block. <laughs> well, every geological epoch or so, it's time to make a course correction. So when are you going to transfer half of your kingdom into my account? Um, put your head down, please. Like this? <laughs> Stick your neck out more. Boy, society sure does seem more organized now. Doesn't. <laughs>